Welcome to Measurement with Sharon and Tim, a parody. I'm Sharon, this is Tim. We're going to give you our recommendations when thinking about measurement in an online media world. <laughs> Hi Tim. Hi Sharon. Number one. What is that? Make sure your inter internal groups are aligned. Dude, pay attention. Sorry. Sorry. Make sure your internal groups are aligned. So that would mean marketing, technology, product groups. You want to make sure Dude, that... Dude, is that snakes on a plane? I... Oh, are there snakes on 16? I don't know. Ugh. Anyway. Know. Anyway, let's get back to this. We need to okay. do this. All right. Um, just make sure that everyone's on the same page and that you're all measuring the same things and that you want to measure the same things. There's nothing worse than a dashboard that has, oh, 20 pages or so. We all know what that's like. Right? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Okay. Number two, align metrics with business objectives. This, I think, is one of the most important things. Tim, do you have a case study? Actually, I do. So, um, once everyone is paying attention and on the same page, we have our case study here of um, client A. Now, as we can see by this chart, their metrics and business objectives, they're all over the place. Now, Not aligned. Oh, they're not aligned. They're totally not aligned. Okay. So, thanks to the data group here at Media Context Boston, we went ahead and lined up their media metrics and their business objectives. Wow, that's fantastic. And the result, dude, check this out, lined up. It was a great case study. It got a lot of press. Can you show that again? Yeah, slow motion this time. See? Metrics and business objectives all over the place. Enter media contacts. Metrics and business objectives lined up. Awesome. That's fantastic. Number three, metrics need to be actionable. Tim, what? Do you have an example? Yeah, we actually were very effective. Um, we have a, a back end report that I, I go through and I, I optimize. Some, you know, because if you if you if you look close, watch see out this for paper cuts. No, but okay? see see this one. Paper cuts. I'm I'm concerned. This no CPA here on, on on this one. That's can you guys can you guys see that? Well, we can we can get back to it later. But you know, if you need a copy, you can contact Tim directly, and he'll forward that along to you. The important thing is that it's very actionable, and we can get it done very quickly. That's great. That's key. Timing is key. Optimizing, definitely. Yeah. Number four, like as we've just seen, presentation is crucial. You have to keep in mind that your target audience is not always analysts, and they don't always have an analytical background, so their thought process sometimes might be a little bit, you know, they just don't have that sort of analytical nature. So just keep that in mind when putting data together, putting together your results from campaigns, and graphical sometimes, you know, is a better way to go. That's definitely right, Sharon. So we put a lot of time and effort into making sure that our clients can understand all the work that we're doing for them. So usually something like this goes over very well when explaining to a client, you know, something in a graphical representation. Usually pages and pages of numbers are an excellent way to let the client know how their campaign's doing. That's an excellent example. I'm so glad you thought of that one. I know. I never would have come up with that. Thanks to Media Contact's data analyst team. Rock on. And last but not least, we all know about Artemis and how important Artemis is yeah. in capturing our data and integrating different sources of data. But something that we use here in Boston that the Insights team really finds useful that we just want to share with everyone else. It's all the rage these days. So this right here is a ruler. Now I know not all of you have seen this before, but let me just show you. We'll get our last report. It's great when you want to line things up so you can look across pages and pages and pages of data. So it makes your big paper reports very timely and actionable. So we actually hit all three things right there. This is, you know, this is big stuff. It may be coming to your office soon. That's a great example. Tim, thank you so much for doing this with me. No, thanks for, thanks for having me. I hope that uh, everyone will tune in for our next measurement, uh, measurement video. Absolutely. Great. Thanks. Thanks.